Now we'll get ready for 174. Logan Massa, the senior, took an Olympic red shirt last season, going head to head against Fritz Sherrill. Sherrill is in place of Caleb Romero, who is currently injured. Massa, he's got dual focus on his mind, winning a U.S. Open and putting himself in a position to contend for the Olympic team. His training has been phenomenal, says Coach uh, Bournette. Just needs to stay on his offense, and he's really hard to beat. There he is, right there, in on the leg there. Coming up to his feet to finish right here. Going to look for that far egg there. He drops and gets the two points. Nice execution by Massa right out of the gate. Logan Massa, two-time NCAA qualifier, 165, three top five finishes in the Big Ten Championships, finishing runner-up back in 2017. He's had some knee injuries, but glad that he is nope, back. Go down. And they will return to the center. Massa is undefeated this season, 3-0, two majors and a pin. Fritz Sherrill, 0-3. Massa pinned Indiana's Donnell Washington that, back on January four, 17th. Guys. Washington, someone to keep your eye on who is a freshman. You know, it was a good look there at Fritz Sherrill. That's the kind of guy you want in your room because he has been a... Just a, a, a great teammate. He's willing to go at whatever way coach needs him at. Good Greco guy. He came in with high credentials and uh, good uh, Greco posi um, uh. position. Yeah, absolutely, with what he's been able to do. Academic All Big Ten, three years in a row for it's Cheryl. Tom Ryan told us that if I asked fingers. Cheryl to wrestle at heavyweight, he would do it. He doesn't ask questions, he just goes to work. A minute 10 has elapsed. In our first period, Ohio State with a slim 3-0 lead in the early going here as we are at 174. You know that Logan Massa would have loved to rematch with Caleb Romero. He beat Romero back on January 25th of last year, a 72 decision, but insert Fritz Sherrill. Again, nice job Stay lowering legal. the level. Stay dropping legal. in on the leg and now working up above the knee. You see his left hand, now he's got it. Two points right there for Two another takedown for Massa. Nice execution there. Real nice feel. Massa leads four to one. His brother Taylor wrestled at Michigan from 2013 through 2016. Massa's a three-time Michigan State champion in high school. Went to St. John's. This guy just loves to wrestle. And Sean Bormet told us earlier in the season, Tim, that he just Cover. has such passion for wrestling. Took a year off. Kind of got the passion back. He worked through a lot of injuries. He's healthy now, wrestling as well as he's ever wrestled in his career, and now has the opportunity here in a few weeks to make a splash the Big Tens and the NCAAs and then the Olympic trials. It's all in front of him right now. He must feel really good, feeling good. And it's been a problem in the past with uh, injuries, and so real happy for the young man. He's a warrior, just Looking tough, right like you Looking said, to loves to wrestle. He is 88 and 19 in his career with the Wolverines. He was coached by his dad in high school, so Massa, the Massa family, certainly a wrestling family. Massa looking for the takedown, and he gets the back of uh, Fritz Sherrill, increasing his lead to 6 to 2. Really doing a nice job of uh, finding the angle, getting in on the leg, and then getting to his feet and lowering his level, covering for two. And ends the first period. Mass is so smooth, Tim. Yeah, he drops in on that leg and then gets right up to his feet, trips uh, Cheryl down, covers the hips for two. We are in Ann Arbor, Michigan, number two Michigan, number eight Ohio State. Massa ranked number two in the country. Looking to uh, really work on top because he's really good there. He, he likes to punish his opponent right there, and he's got the leg in. Looking to uh, stretch out Cheryl. Going to work. Gorgeous move there as he he's takes the back. Does Logan Massa, the uh, red shirt senior, Going head to head against another redshirt senior from Stevens Point, Wisconsin, and Fritz Sherrill. Got an awkward time at Kirk, but he got the uh, leg up there, so he uh, turned the hips and the shoulders came, and now he's going to get a count, a four count. Came off. 
And the load can mass him. Thousand two, thousand three, still two, same hold. And Fritz Sherrill just continues to battle on the bottom, even though he's being controlled by Logan Massa. No, you're exactly right. Sherrill so far hasn't even given up the four. Number one, thousand two. Really thousand tough three. wrestling there by thousand Sherrill, four. but uh, Massa just too dynamic uh, for Sherrill. I mean, he's uh, he's showing that he's putting on a clinic here on his feet. Now on top, we talked about how he punishes and. That's why he's so hard to beat. Massa is just so hard to beat because he's so good in every position. Tim, he's contorting the neck in such an awkward position on Fritz Sherrill, and Sherrill handled that well. And that is a four-point swing for Logan Massa as he increases his lead to 10 to two. And you're right about the toughness of Sherrill. He's not gonna go over easy, fighting it hard. It took a long time for Massa to actually get that uh, move to get to four uh, points near fall. And uh, he was successful, Massa, but uh, it wasn't. Cheryl didn't give it up. And that's the kind of wrestler that, uh, and stepping in for Romero, that's expected of him for, um, from Ohio State's coaching staff. And Tim, that was uh, the third attempt was successful for Massa, but Massa was in there twice, and Cheryl just kept moving and fighting, but still he's got a tall task in Logan Massa. That ends the second period, a 10 to two sizable lead for Logan Massa. And this is where Massa does a nice job of elevating the leg, turning the hips, and now cross face, and here come the shoulders and ultimately got the four count. Well, Fritz Sherrill now is looking to try to limit this to a decision. Tim, you talk about the match within the match. Well, here we go in this third period. Massa extends his lead to 11 to two. And you're exactly right. There's a match within the match for both these wrestlers. Massa doing a great job of already having a major decision and um, for his team could come down to mean a lot later and yet Cheryl with uh, one takedown somewhere here could get it back to a decision but that's going to be a tall order against the way Massa has been wrestling. Can you imagine if Fritz Cheryl can limit this to a decision Tom Ryan would probably be jumping for joy. Well that means that he would have come in and executed a great takedown and uh, scored points here in the last and you'd be exactly right there right now though um, Massa in the catbird seat, gets in on that single, looking for another takedown from that side. Under a minute to go Like I said, period. here's that uh, Greco and Massa recognizing that, you know, not going with it. Being real smart. Same legal there. Veteran wrestler Massa executing on all eight cylinders here. Another takedown on his way to a major decision here. Really putting on a show here as far as uh, execution. Massa doing a nice job. Very dynamic, tough wrestler. And riding time has been secured for Logan Massa. 13-2 the advantage over Fritz Sherrill. He's looked terrific against Sherrill, but Sherrill is so tough for Ohio State. Massa anticipating Sherrill's moves there, trying to cast over. Massa in on the legs again. Careful, careful. Trying to turn on a guillotine. Potentially dangerous to call. They stop the move. Final 10 seconds of this third period. Logan Massa on his way to a major decision over Fritz Sherrill of Ohio State, who's winless this season. You're coming in with your head. That's caution. Come on. First one. Sherrill looking for the escape. So a major decision victory as Logan Massa remains undefeated this season for Nome. He is 89 and 19 overall in his career as Michigan takes a one point lead in the first two matches. They have split them.